Hey everybody, welcome to the Double Stuff Podcast. We are double the hosts, double the topics, double the fun. I'm Sarah. I'm Dan. I'm Charity. Bleep bloop. <laughs> and, we have, and we have a special guest today who's substituting for Alan. <laughs> it's Nemo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Alan. You got me. You guys got me. Yeah. So I'm right through it. Yeah. <laughs> that disguise didn't fool anyone, Alan. <laughs> and so, guys, we are at our season finale Yay! of our anniversary Woo! series. We did it. We're at episode 110. Wow. Crazy. Wow. Not only are we past 100, we're at our 110th episode now. Okay. So, as has been our custom, somehow it's become a tradition here that at the end of our, we did this at the end of our first, our very first series, and then our anniversary series of 2021 and now our anniversary series of this year 10th episode we always play a random game called just a minute oh here we go here we go <laughs> if you want to listen to the ones we did before just check out episode 10 no don't do that way back. <laughs> <laughs> well we found out that dan was a bit competitive that's, that's true right. yeah i'm really suing myself though <laughs> <laughs> it was great because that 10th episode yeah he was he was pretty just Dan but then he was like just Dan you know he had a little bit of angst with Dan. him yes. and if you want to listen to our revisiting of the first one you can go to episode 60 you can listen to that one yeah <laughs> Dan has given permission that one's okay that, that one's okay <laughs> that's only because he won what? in episode 60 yeah that's I got, why I got the belt I believe Charity won episode in episode 10 so now I guess if we're, we have to this little contest between me and Alan, I guess, I have to try to okay. do this one. Like, <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're going to try to do this here. Um, we have uh, four topics or five topics. We'll see how many we can do in this episode. So basically the object of the game is that we're given 60 seconds on a topic. Um, I did refresh on this. So we can actually, we can actually repeat the topic more than once in the episode. So we don't necessarily have to limit it to once. So if we're talking about cheese, you can say cheese as many times as you want? Yes. Okay. And you can repeat yeah. common words, like the, uh, the and Stuff like that, yeah. Okay. But if you start to, but if you start deviating from the topic, like a cat having seizures, which is what Alan yeah, said. Yeah, I remember that one, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. <laughs> yes, I was but just it had nothing it. to do with it. I think you were just talking and hopefully that, hoping that we didn't notice how way off topic That's the point of the game. <laughs> <That's> the <point laughs> strategy. Wait, just on. Um, a minute <laughs> so 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 you can't deviate you can't game. hesitate so even like a little stutter or a stumble that still counts as a mess up there gotcha and so either someone in the group or someone of us has to you know acknowledge that right. like give a beep and since again we've done this three times and we still haven't bought a little <laughs> i think we should just go eh, that's yeah. what we've been doing Ahuga. <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody challenges you on that and it's right, they get the point. Pause. I have one. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. oh, oh gosh. Oh, you got the harpo Sorry. horn? Oh, my God. <laughs> I like okay. the idea in prac in theory. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna share this. Uh, we have, we'll have to, like, to put it in the yeah. center. Yeah. In the middle. And just like knock it over. I don't know how, yeah. Just stand it up. If you lay it down, we okay. can like. Oh, that's true. Once you stand it, and then somebody just reach out. And <laughs> there you go. And it's muffled. Yeah. Perfect. As long as we don't knock it over, is it gonna work if we? Yeah, but now it's at me. <laughs> well, I feel like I you just grab it and give it a little. Idea. Give it a little squeeze. Just give it a little squeeze. <laughs> So, for the first time in our three years of trying to play this game, we finally have a horn. We're getting horny. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Alan. Let's see how it sounds. So, if you hear this sound... <laughs> that means we killed a goose? <laughs> that means challenge. <laughs> challenge okay. and goose strangulation. Uh -huh. okay. okay, so, Dan, your topic is going to be... Eugene the Cowboy, and that's based off of episode 63, Eugene the Cowboy. Pass. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll start in three, two, one, go. Eugene the Cowboy was the opposite of the Marlboro Man. He would go across the desert like Kane in Kung Fu, and he would be smacking cigarettes out of people's mouths left and right. And every time they try to challenge him, he just smacked. He was the fastest hand in the West. He was like Billy the Kid. Yeah. <laughs> Smack. Yeah, oh, he, he, he yeah, just smacked twice. Yep. <laughs> Who would have thought? I, I was already getting lost on that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you did that. 
<laughs> and not only that, but then I realized I have a ton of time to I was going to say, yeah. you're, now you have to pick yeah. up the story. Good okay. luck with that. Okay, okay, pause real quick. When they pick up the story, do they have to go with the same or can they make Just up the, the they, make, they can start. Just okay, so he can yeah. start. He yeah. doesn't have to keep up with but the so, story. But Alan gets a point because he challenged Oh, Dan. are you? Here, I'll keep track of points. I feel like you should get points for however many <laughs> seconds you go throughout the total. Actually, you know? I think let me see. <laughs> let me see. I remember right. I think uh, he. You're at forty. You have forty five seconds to speak. So fifteen he, seconds. Yeah, you nice. went for fifteen. Yeah, Good job. I, I think. <laughs> now I need to double check. I think Dan does at least get a point for starting, so we can at least give Dan. Oh, was his participation uh, points? Now? I don't know. I, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> this is now, the well, game where the points don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I know for sure Alan gets a point for challenging. So we'll for let's, sure. let's keep it. We'll, that just, way. we'll keep it that way. If, well, we have, if we ever go to England and are actually on the real show, we'll play it correctly. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll bomb and represent them. America. When does my yeah. time begin? <laughs> All right. And we'll start in three, two, one. Eugene the Cowboy is the subject of an episode that we did that I do not remember at all. But going from what Dan was talking about, I believe that he had some sort of opposite to what a real person that would ride on top of horses would be. And so I think that... <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> That's a self toot. Yeah, I, I feel like <laughs> I, I toot myself. <laughs> toot, toot. So I feel like I gave you some gray seconds because I was like, he's about to bomb, but I'll let him keep going. Well, the, the fact that he said it's from an episode I don't remember, I'm like, okay. Uh, who who honked first? Was that you, Sarah? Oh, that was me. Okay. So it was Sarah- either Sarah or Alan honked himself. <laughs> <laughs> Should I take away your one point, Alan? <laughs> How many seconds I got? <clears throat> you have 21 seconds, and you'll start in three, two, one, go. Eugene the Cowboy was extremely misunderstood. He grew up in the, in the Midwest, and he had saloons on every corner, and every time he would try to get his business going, some big brawny guy would come and shoot up the place, destroy all of his earnings. So he was very discouraged. He decided to leave his town, travel on his one pretty horse. <laughs> That turned out better than what I thought. <laughs> I started just speaking. I don't even know that was saying. good. Okay, so you get another point, and that means you get to start the next topic. Right? I do get to start okay. the next one. So, want me to count you down? Uh, yes. Um, oh, our next topic. Yeah, give us our next topic. Okay, the next topic will be Saucy Decoy McGee, uh, which is <laughs> which is based off of episode fifty. I remember that one. <laughs> based off of episode fifty, Saucy Decoy McGee. All right. All right ready? Want me to count you down? Count me in. Yeah. Three, two, one. Saucy Decoy McGee, I think, is my alter ego, a very sarcastic detective that is able to solve a whole bunch of crimes, maybe a bit on the clumsy side, but somehow good comes out in the end. I have my trusty steed, and I have a great group of people who happens to be podcasters that would be part of my posse to uh, help me be able to get the fingerprints and pick up the blood samples and be able to figure out just who is the culprit of this heinous crime. We would definitely go yeah. to the oh i think you said crime twice i probably did <laughs> <laughs> oh crap <laughs> I, I, I think I think you said crime twice. I'm sure I probably said I'm crime gonna, twice. Okay. <laughs> Better than what I thought, though. Yeah, you, 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 had a you were on a roll. I was kind of Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try this. I'm going to time myself. It's easier if I don't look at the clock, so I'm going like, to look up to the sky. It, yeah, just do that. Okay. I don't know if you need to hold the phone up to the microphone so that you can hear the, oh, the chimes alarm. when it goes Here off. Here we go. In okay. three, two, one. Saucy Decoy McGee was a nickname that Sarah received from some of her college friends and roommates and co-workers because she is the least likely human to commit a crime because of her face. It looks so innocent that you wouldn't think that she... <laughs> Oh, not bad. I think I got you on think. Okay. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I can those, do three seconds. Oh, that's <laughs> those, are, those are the easiest the ones. The easy ones. Okay, hold on. Let me give Alan a point. <laughs> okay. I'm, there's no point in counting you in, but, you know, okay. Three, two, one. Saucy. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to toot my horn. <laughs> Oh, man. Should I even bother making you do it, Dan? No, no, no. He, 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 I didn't call him on anything. I just wanted to follow him. He already had it. He had it. There's a rule that I'm not aware of. 
<laughs> I didn't want to make it too easy for you on those last three seconds. I didn't, lo- I didn't like the way you said saucy. I should give you negative points, yeah. Dan. Yeah. 25 points for enduring assault. That was a honk assault. A honk assault? I got a honk assault. I never I got to honk the whole got honked. You can show me the police. I, I got honked. I got honked. H O N K apostrophe D. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but since technically he honked, he gets to do the next one, right? Since oh, no, no. I was just, I didn't call him on anything. Oh, there's rules, Dan. It was an accidental honk. <laughs> <laughs> Who says that Dan goes next? <laughs> oh, folks. Three well, against one. Well, I mean, and plus, you know, I mean. You can do it, Dan. You can do it. Oh, oh I can I, do I, it. I can be encouraging. I can do it. All right, Danny boy. Deep breath in, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next topic. Our next topic is actually from an After Hours post. Ooh. Your topic is based off of something that happened between episode 33 and episode 78 of After Hours. The Yagasabi apple. Ooh. Oh. Do you, you remember that? Remember no, I don't. That's the I, apple in a pear, in a grape, or and, the opposite. Of, of and then inside of it is another apple. And inside is another apple. Okay. It's only it, grown in it's like Yagasabi. It's like a tur- turducken. It, no, it's, it's, only, okay. it's only grown in Mount Fuji. <coughs> Mount Fuji. It's only grown in Mount Fuji. It's called Yagasabi. Yagasabi. <laughs> Yagasabi. <laughs> Yagasabi apple. Okay. Yagasabi apple. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Just want to make sure or, I have it right. Or you can just you can just make it up, but it's on Mount gotcha. Fuji, the made up apple that we have. After the, after this, we'll play that little clip and you can know. <laughs> All right. So Dan, the Yagasabi apple in three, two, one, go. The Yagasabi apple is an apple in a grape <laughs> and a pear. <laughs> I saw, I saw we could say the word twice. Oh. Yeah, you could say the word twice. Okay, take the word of it. <laughs> That's on me then. All right. All right. Oh, I'm gonna keep I, going. I forgot that. He's, he did say apple yep. twice, though. Okay, we'll just pretend that didn't we'll happen. We'll pretend that didn't happen. We'll, we'll, you we'll didn't start. get that far, so don't don't wipe <laughs> right. your forehead yet. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll start that one over for you. Okay. All right. Take on, two man. on the Yagasabi apple in three, two, one, go. The Yagasabi apple is a fruit in a pear, in a grape, in a banana, in a hamburger, in a pizza, in a calzone, and I'm losing the track <laughs> of what I was supposed to do. all the things. I know, I was trying to think of more food. Oh, a blizzard. <laughs> if, 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 it come, if it comes back, you can, you can build up on it. That's right. <laughs> you make it to a big smoothie. It's a, it's a limited release. We're going to see how it goes. <laughs> see how it goes. <laughs> Try it out in Wichita and see how far we get. <laughs> okay, well, Sarah, you now have 44 seconds to discuss the Yagasagi Yagasabi apple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alan completely made that word. Yagasabi apple. <laughs> okay, we'll start in three, two, one. The Yagasabi apple is grown exclusively in Mount Fuji. I remember about two years ago, Alan and I went on an excursion to that place, and there was a lot of obstacles that we crossed along the way. Weird fruits, different colors, different sizes. Oh, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I think you said fruit, fruit. twice. I was thinking fruit oh, okay. twice, yeah. Yes. You got her. You got her. I got a good five or six seconds. Yeah, you did. You did good. <laughs> okay. Here I, was like, I, oh, I was like, you, you cracked the code. All you got to do is just like talk about this journey you went on. <laughs> okay. Okay. And three, a two, a one. The Yaga Sagi. Sa- oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Didn't uh, get the name I, right. I, I want to say Soggy and not Sobby. Yaga <laughs> Sobby Apple. Okay, who hopped? Is that Dan? Yeah, that's Dan. Dan. Oh, Dan gets to finish it. 22 seconds. Right. 22 seconds. You can Inside of another hamburger. <laughs> With cheese. <laughs> okay. don't, don't, don't feed him information. <laughs> Stand by. Three, two, one. So if it's all right, if I finish now, it's actually inside of an ice cream cone. And you have to take this sacred fruit up to Mount Fuji where you put it on a pedestal and you pray to it for 90 days <laughs> while it ripens and gets nice and fresh and ready to eat. And then you take it back down to your village and you share it amongst all of the other people in the town. And oh, yes! Oh, oh, you very it. nice. Oh my God, you I'm so it. proud. I was losing the thread again. <laughs> Also, you guys didn't see it, but Dan had this little glory dance he just did. That was great. I was sitting there sweating. I was like, where is that timer? No, I can yeah. tell you were just like, please, timer, go off, go it's off. Like, it's got to be 20 seconds, five seconds I, later. I love, the, I love the fact that we have, so to, we have to pray to it for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and then it gets right. <laughs> oh. I don't want that. <laughs> this is great. I'm so glad I picked that topic. <laughs> 
right. Um, so since Dan won, OC. Oh, I think the winner gets to go again, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we did last time. Danny, keep winning. That's oh, true. Oh, it's challenge accepted. <laughs> challenge accepted. It's great All for right. Podcast. <laughs> yeah. it's just great Brushy for the podcast. dirt off my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's, it's, it's visual and appealing. Mm-hmm. All right. So the next topic will be bald cave women. <laughs> based off of episode 92 <laughs> based on episode 92 bald cave women i've been able to use the title for the episodes all right so let's start the clock in three two one go bald cave women was actually a sequel to plato's allegory of the cave Ooh. she was a person that came out of this hole in the mountain and was like, what is going on around here? All I've ever seen is shadows. <laughs> <laughs> your, your honk was a little muted, so I, I embellished. <laughs> I have to close my eyes next time. <laughs> That's a different allegory of the cave story that I've ever heard. <laughs> so it's the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> this this beats the Flintstones by a oh, long shot. Okay, oh, oh, I was oh, that, Sarah that was me. <laughs> but I don't know if it picked up, so I gave oh, it a yeah, bigger. Oh yeah, it was very soft. Okay. It was a soft oh honk. man, that was funny. That, that took me out for a second. Okay, ready? Yeah. Bald okay. cave women, starting in three, two, one, go. Back in about three thousand million BC, there were a bunch of cave women who had a head full of hair. But during the course of time and memorial, strands and strands—I said strands twice. <laughs> <laughs> Still got it. Still got it. Really- <laughs> Dan, that's back to you. Dan is back right, to you. Right. Yeah, good for you. Dan, you have twenty-nine seconds. <laughs> I'm going to take this that's victory. Right. I'm take that women. victory. Finish your allegory. <laughs> <laughs> I got, want to know. We <laughs> can find what's going on here. Okay, Stan. Bye. In three, two, one, go. As I was saying, when the bald cave women came out of the place in the hole in the ground, they saw that people had weird dome shapes over their head, and they were like, what is going on? I need to make something because I have no hair. So they started stitching together pieces of Yeti uh, <laughs> fur. <laughs> <laughs> So close, Dan. So close. Uh, sometimes I don't want to honk the horn because I just want to keep going. I want to hear the story. Oh, what Yeti goes for? on inside that head? <laughs> oh, man. I, I, for for real, I kind of want to hear the rest of the story. And if we don't, we don't oh, okay. you'll never know because you honked me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Alan, you have seven seconds to discuss bald cave women. I won't interrupt you this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by in three, two, one, go. Bald headed cave women existed for real a long time ago on the Great Plains. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Alan's winning by luck. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. And that's a wrap, everybody. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta leave on a high note. That's right. I, I do. I do feel like I think even though it's still funny, I think we have gotten a little bit better at this. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Dan's just a great storyteller. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I just, had to step up after that first embarrassment. <laughs> so. Apparently, just Dan has been the wreck on tour. <laughs> well, the whole idea with you is like I'm gonna go to left field and then I'm gonna go further into that's, left that's field. That's my idea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna climb over go. the fence. <laughs> and I'm gonna go into the stands. <laughs> Out in the parking lot. Gonna get a pretzel. <laughs> Head out to my car, but then I remembered I parked on the other side of the, the stadium, so I have to walk all the way around. <laughs> That's right. Oh man! Oh, honestly, that was actually I just had the the four to, to talk about, and I think. I don't know if we can really talk. No, that's a high note. I say yeah. we just leave it on a high <laughs> note. That was fantastic. That was I think, good. I, think I had a lot of fun. That that was oh my gosh. I thanks guys. I have that like I'm either I'm <laughs> laughing with tears and a bit of sweat on my face. Apparently that I laughed so hard I got laughing my temperature. Burns calories. I will give you guys the point count. So oh, yeah. yes. the loser with two points is me. Oh. <laughs> you said that with such gusto. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I was busy keeping time. Uh, I'm, right. I'm probably uh, I'm probably right behind you though. Well, the let's see. The person in third place is Dan. Actually, oh, that's fair. surprising. Yeah, with three <laughs> points. And then Sarah, you have four points, and Alan is the winner with what? five. Yes. Yes. 
smartest man. I'm the smartest man alive. Okay, let's 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 not get ahead of ourselves, Alan. <laughs> For a minute. <laughs> So that means if we do it next year, I have to win it because yeah, everybody right. has yeah, gone. Everyone's won. So that just means do Alan's strategy: just honk <laughs> like at the last five seconds, and that way all you have to do is tell a five-second story. That means that's, that's how that's Alan That's probably kept how I did it too. <laughs> that means I have to actually keep trying to be like 55, 56. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. I think I think the horn kind of helped uh, amp it up. So. I think so. <laughs> that was what was missing for the past two. It and was half better years. than oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, everybody. I hope you laughed along with us because that would have been an awkward episode. But <laughs> but thank you for joining us for yes, you know you. two years and a hundred plus episodes now. And we've got some great things in store for next uh, for next season, of course. But you can also listen to all of our episodes. You can do a binge listen on our website. As, that's at doublestuffpod.com. All of our newest episodes are on different podcast platforms. Of course, we're on social media at Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And, of course, on Twitter at DoubleStuffP. And that's the letter P. Yay! Happy New Year! <laughs> Let's be forgotten. <laughs> 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 <laughs>